Hi guys, this is Bilal Khan with Photomotion Studio and today we're excited to be here at CES 2025 with BMW exhibit and I'm joined by Mr. Engineer Lawrence and he's going to go ahead and talk to us more about panoramic iDrive and a little bit about the history behind iDrive and BMW. Thank All right. you so much for being here. Yeah, thanks really Bilal. It. It's a pleasure, you know. Thank you. So, BMW, I really think we are the iDrive company, right? Uh -huh. Ever since we introduced that 25 years ago, mm -hmm. we kept really evolving it across generations, fine-tuning, making it better, and truly setting a standard across the industry. 100%. Yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. So when it came up to our Neue Klasse generation, mm -hmm. we felt after such a time, it is truly the right point in time to generate something really new, to do more like a leap forward instead of an evolution. Yeah. And the result is the BMW Panoramic iDrive. Um, I think what we did is we took that groundbreaking technology, that new head-up display technology that enables us to display something in the windshield, like really full width from pillar to pillar, um, and then basically kept evolving the iDrive system around it, and that's where we are, and that's what you see. Question is, during the experience in the show, they said that uh, it's 3D. So what is the 3D aspect in the uh, iDrive that's come out? I love that question. We didn't have a lot of time to go into details there. Mm -hmm. so, um, the, we have two components to this. You have the panoramic vision, which is stretching across the windshield, right. visible for everyone. Mm -hmm. But uh, given that we are truly a driver orientation company, we still strongly feel that uh, offering the uh, head-up display technology on top in the driver's line of sight to augment stuff right also on top of the street mm -hmm. makes perfect sense for you. Yeah. And why is it called 3D? So we will be introducing a new technology uh, with the Neue Klasse mm -hmm. where you have true tilted 3, uh, 3D image, meaning that the dis dis different areas in the display have a different uh, focal length or distance from your eye. Mm -hmm. So that enables us to generate a, a much more, you know, a 3D picture directly into your line of sight. That's amazing. I'd love to get to see a little bit more about that. All right, Lawrence, so can you show us a little bit more what you have for iDrive and panoramic views? Yeah, I'd love to. So have a look at this. Um, first of all, as I said, the centerpiece is the panoramic vision. Right. On top, you have the 3D head-up display, which mm -hmm. projects stuff right on the road surface. Right. And then you do have the new central display. Mm -hmm. It has a driver-oriented shape, which uh -huh. is pretty unusual. Yeah. Uh, because we study that a lot, and the ergonomic movement of your hand kind of moves in a circle. So while the display moves much closer than in earlier models, uh -huh. the screen is much larger, it's yeah. much easier to reach. Right. And last but not least, steering wheel, of course, giving you the full control. We always say eyes on the road and hands on the wheel. So we do really believe in the value of hardware buttons and we continue to provide them to the customer, right? Yeah. I mean, for the steering wheel, you have volume, you can activate the ADAS systems, obviously, you have can access to last phone calls and yeah. to change your Spotify playlist and whatnot. Yeah. That's still there with your hands on that wheel. And uh, I think those four components are a pretty good combination. Last but not least, I have kind of fifth one for you, which is unofficial. Okay. Yeah, it's the intelligent personal assistant. <laughs> okay. Yes, it's wow. our kind of it's a voice interface, which is uh, then combined with a large language model for navigation use cases. So you'll be yeah. kind of able to like ask pretty good questions. For instance, take me to a free charging station, which is uh, high power charging and not further away than 200 meters uh, from a convenience store that's still open. Right. So you can like ask the system for really complex things and it takes you right where you want to go. That's amazing. You guys integrated LLMs into it. During the show, they also talked about a little bit about the LLMs being inside as your AI assistant. And I think it's really smart because then you don't have to look at a screen, you know, just like you just told us where you want your hands on the wheel and eyes on the road. This with having an LLM, you are able to be assisted by AI for anything that comes up that you have questions for. So thank you so much, Lawrence. For You're welcome, Bilal. It's been a pleasure.